Hello everyone, so in this video I'll be showing how to conduct equivalence testing using JUMP. So in this example, uh, the data set that I have here is film thickness uh, from 100 different samples and uh, we'll be using the distribution platform in order to uh, do the equivalence testing uh, to see if the mean value of this particular uh, set of data is uh, on target. So let me open up the uh, distribution platform from the analyze menu and then uh, uh, plot the regular distribution and then uh, in order to do the uh, equivalence testing you can choose the test from the rectangle option uh, and choose test equivalence now here you enter the target value in this example it's 7.594 and then here you enter a, a difference which is uh, considered uh, practically zero what this means is uh, the value that you enter here uh, will be plus or minus from the hypothesis value and once you do the equivalence test if your confidence interval is within these bounds uh, then you can conclude that this process is uh, practically on target uh, so in this example uh, I'm going to give a range of uh, uh, 0.006 uh, note that uh, you're entering only one value but uh, it's going to take plus or minus from the hypothesized mean and then of course you have the uh, confidence interval, uh, the confidence level. Uh, here I'm going to leave it at the default uh, 0 0.95. And then when you say OK, now here you can see that the equivalence test has been plotted. Now here you can see from the confidence interval that uh, the uh, predicted, uh, the, the mean value is uh, going to lie within the uh, bounds uh, that we entered before. And uh, this means that uh, uh, the uh, process is uh, considered uh, uh, practically on target. Also, additionally, uh, from this table over here for the null hypothesis, you can see that the mean uh, greater than the lower bound and the p-value for the mean greater than the upper bound, uh, they have p-values that are practically insignificant, which is an, another criteria which confirms that uh, this process is on target. So this is how you can use uh, uh, equivalence testing uh, to check if a process is on target or not.